Yeah, the reaction that Mr. Kachinko um, got as foreign, a foreign affairs minister here in Papua New Guinea with regards to not only the daughter's video, which was uploaded and posted by um, Savannah Kachinko, the daughter, on TikTok, but also, uh, more specifically, the word he used uh, when we were um, interviewing him here on um, ABC, um, Primitive, which he clarified later on that he was referring to those who were um, uh, commenting, uh, hate comments on um, uh, on the daughter's video. So he apologized for using that words and also clarified that um, that was specifically for those who were uh, cyberbullying, I should say. He should he actually said that was um, against his daughter. So there was an overwhelming call for him to resign, to step aside, for the prime minister to, um, uh, to, to actually come out and say something about it. And um, the call for him to even get deported. Um, and those were various calls that we've been hearing in the last, um, being seen on social media platforms in the last couple of days. And um, so, yes, I think um, uh, the outcry, the public outcry had led to today. Well, why did the video spark such a reaction from the public? Um, a lot of the public um, had their own personal opinion about that video. Um, uh, the video was uh, uploaded by Savannah Kachenko, the daughter of uh, Mr. Kachenko. Um, what the public did not uh, agree with, it was overwhelming comments in relation to that, was that as they felt it was a total and one, one, one of the social onlineers um, actually said it was a total disconnect um, between uh, the minister's daughter and what they were actually going through here in the country. There was just no sensitivity around um, how um, he, she had portrayed herself in a very luxurious um, life, traveling to, uh, to, to London with her father. And also, um, she saw herself as an um, uh, identified herself as an Australian going to London rather than a Papua New Guinean, which was a hashtag that was um, also circulated um, aggressively. Uh, online. So a lot of people um, actually did not agree with her um, representing the country as they felt that she was not a uh, representing the, the true Papua New Guinean um, spirit, I should say, of, 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 what, of what young girls and youths are actually facing in the country. Well, I understand Mr. Kachenko welcomes an investigation into the coronation trip and funds spent. What did he have to say on that? Mr. Kachenko said he has nothing to hide um, when he was answering my question. He said that um, he welcomes any complaints that the Ombudsman Commission may have received and may have to deal with um, from the public in relation to spending by the government for the coronation. And of course, for himself and the Foreign Affairs Department, which he which he said they, um, as a department and him as minister, has nothing to hide. And they also welcome any investigation that um, um, that may be called upon this uh, issue that's been raised in the last three days in relation to public spending and the number of people that actually went for the coronation. Mr Kachenko says he will step aside but has made it clear it's not a resignation. Yes, so um, he actually um, clarified that he will be back um, after he is able to deal with um, the issue at hand, which is, of course, um, the people that continue to, he, he says, destroy a reputation for him and his, and his daughter through hate comments that have been made on social media. He did not clarify how he would be dealing with that at this stage, but he says this time is also given to the prime minister and the government to also better prepare themselves for the world leaders that will be arriving in the country in the next couple of days. So um, basically, he's just giving time for that, and he will be um, returning back um, after he deals with that. So he did not say he was um, resigning. He was just stepping aside to in order to deal with this issue at hand. Well, the Prime Minister has asked citizens to forgive Mr Kachenko. What has James Marape's reaction been? After he released a statement late last night, uh, his approach towards the minister in finally coming and apologising to him and the cabinet um, in relation to what he had in answering a question on the ABC, um, the Prime Minister had released a statement and said that um, he was asking the country to forgive the minister because he had also forgiven the the, the minister for foreign affairs. But the press release uh, that came out um, did not 
um, gather enough support at all. Um, a lot of people this morning um, were still not happy and they felt that more should be done rather than um, the Prime Minister calling on the country to forgive um, the Foreign Affairs Minister. And so um, that led for um, most probably what happened this afternoon. And as you mentioned, U.S. President Joe Biden and also Indian Prime Minister Narendra Modi and 16 Pacific leaders are due to visit Papua New Guinea. How significant will this event be? Um, there's a lot of um, talk about that at this time. Preparations are already evident on the street where we have the city police going around and ensuring that people who are selling or illegally selling in front of shops or a bit or not, you know, the informal sector actually moved away. But um, a lot of people um, have not felt, have not, have not um, been able to um, digest really what's, what, what these leaders are here for and the, you know, the awareness at this stage. But they're actually happy that at least we have a, a U.S. president that actually is finally coming to Papua New Guinea, a sitting president, and a lot of people are looking forward to that. So um, hopefully we can see some reaction in the next couple of days. Belinda Cora, thanks for your update. No worries. Thank you for having me.